So you abandoned your fiancé to go on a selfish journey of inner discovery? Abandoned is a strong word. Left? Deserted? Forsook? Yes, yes, and yes. Slipped away in the dead of night? Sure. But it was all for the best. I obviously wasn't ready to, you know, become a responsible, grown-up, magical bird. Where does one go to find oneself, I asked. Granted, I only asked myself, and I probably should have gotten a second opinion, but there you go. So I decided to seek the center of all wisdom and knowledge in Arcadia. This dark people city? No, no, no. Some fortune teller in Zahn. She stiffed me. It was actually blind luck that I ended up in the dark people city. I never intended to go there, but it was a real blessing, I tell you. These guys, they let me read anything I wanted. And I've learned a lot. Like, for example, did you know that a Diavon water snake can grow to be almost 200 meters long? I didn't. I didn't really want to find out either, because now I'm really freaked out by water, but there's not much else to do in the place except read. Read, eat, read, sleep, read, go to the bathroom, and read at the same time. It's really very, very dull. But all that introspection gave me perspective. I wisened up. And now, I'm ready. Ready to get married? Ready to admit that I'm scared out of my feathers about getting married. So no, still on that journey. What's it like being a talking bird? My beak is a finely tuned instrument of love. When I speak, girls tremble. And also guys. Guys tremble too, but not in the same way. Right. It was nice chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. Glad to help, doll. Doll? Um, I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. Welcome to our city. The White of the Kin is expecting you. Who? That's the White Dragon, Zoe. How did she know I was coming? I stopped asking those kinds of questions a long, long time ago. You just have to start buying into stuff like destiny and precognition, or you'll go nuts. She waits in the library. Follow me. Right. Okay, no point in asking any questions, is there? Absolutely not. It'll only make your head hurt. There are some huge things out there. I hope those, um, windows are thick.
tons and tons of books. He's taking me to see the white dragon. Hi, I'm Zoe. How fascinating. You're here, and yet you're not. Can I touch you? Can you... What do you mean by... Who's that? Oh, I forgot. This is my friend Brian Westhouse. He's a... Um... A traveller, I guess. You sound... So familiar. You've heard my name before? Your presence, your being, sounds familiar. And also... Also disconcerting. I feel a prickling on my skin. What do you call it? Goosebumps? My apologies, ma'am. I don't wish to perturb you. Maybe I should just... Leave you... No, please. Stay. Perhaps it's... I'm sure it's just me. You see, I don't understand this body yet. I don't know what any of these feelings mean. I apologize. You're most welcome here, Traveller. Thank you, ma'am. I'll leave the two of you alone while I peruse this magnificent library. You've come to me for the same reason April came to me not long ago. You're stuck. I'm stuck here in Arcadia, yes. I need to go back to Stark. But this isn't the only place you're stuck. You're stuck in life, like driftwood to a river. You lack direction. You lack faith. Maybe so, but that's why it's important that I go back home. People there need me, and I want to be there for them. I don't want to be adrift anymore. I want to be where I'm needed the most. And that will bring you home, Zoe. Your commitment to your friends, your belief in yourself, and your abilities. Faith will bring you where you're needed the most. How? It's easy. You're not really here. That's what you said earlier. But it doesn't make sense. I'm right here. Yes. And no. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. You belong to the story time. Okay, now you're being cryptic. I've had enough of that. I can't take any more riddles. Just tell me what it means. I'm sorry. It's not cryptic to me. It just is. With all due respect, I just want to get home. I want to help my friends. I want to stop the bad guys from winning. I want to... I want to be myself again. The last time I was here in Arcadia, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was back home in Stark. How did I do that? When I fell asleep on the airship on my way here, I didn't disappear. That's because you didn't dream. If you dream the right dream, it becomes reality. You can go anywhere you wish. To go back to your own world, you just have to wake up. You mean this is all a dream? This isn't a dream, but you're dreaming. I'm confused again. All I need to do is go to sleep and dream about home, and then I'll wake up and be home. Maybe. I've never met anyone like you. I only know that there are some who have a strong connection with the world of dreams. And you are one of them. I'll just have to take your word for it. Help me fall asleep. Help me dream or wake up or whatever it is you said I need to do to get home. Time's running out. I have to be where I'm needed the most. Come here. You must find her, Zoe. You must help her. Wherever she is, that's where you're needed the most. What? Where did she go? What did you do to her? Did you use magic on her? I didn't do anything to her, funny bird. She left this place on her own. But, but she just vanished. I know. Isn't it fascinating? There's no one else like her. She's special. I've never met a human girl who hasn't been special. For all I know, they've all got strange powers and important destinies. 
I just hope she's okay. Most interesting. Fireworks? Maybe they're celebrating something. Closed and locked. I don't think there's anyone in there. Closed and locked. I don't think there's anyone in there. Even if I knew how to, you know, drive a boat, I still don't think I'd brave those murky waters. Is that... April? April! We'll need to make another run south before the ice breaks, though I'm guessing Mercuria is out of the question. We lost some good people. We got careless. Ah, we were as careful as we could be. We just got unlucky. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let's just hope we got enough intelligence out of it to justify the losses. I wish I could say that's the case. The fact is, they're getting too strong for us. They tore us apart down there. Easy as... Ah, quit your whining, woman. The raven I know is tougher than that. There's enough doom and gloom in this place already. Which is why I'm going back. To Mercuria? Are you sure that's wise? We stay here, we go there. It's all the same. They're coming and they won't stop. Not until we strike at their heart. Mercuria, the tower. Ha! <laughs> the tower? It'll take more than you and your band of merry rebels to topple that one, raven. And even if you do, you think that'll stop them? No. We need to stay strong. Build our allegiances, recruit more people, and keep the enemy from our doorstep. Time and patience will decide the victor. We don't have time. Look at what happened in Mercuria. We have to act now. We have to take the war to them. I'm inclined to agree, Raven. But we're not strong enough. Not yet. If you stay here, we can train more people, build our strength, and... And talk about how someday we'll crush the enemy and take back our lands and our cities. That's what we do best. Talk. They murdered my friends. They arrested our most trusted ally in Mercuria, and they're probably moving north even now. And you say we should wait? I'm done waiting. 
Ah, the Azadi don't have a clue where we are. Trust me, Raven, we're safe here. Besides, no one but me and my boys can navigate the rivers and swamps between us and the Bay of Fire. Even if the Azadi should learn of our whereabouts, the scouts will give us two days' warning. We'll sink their boats before they even know what hit them. <laughs> 